Starting right off with our top focus that remains on the K menace recently reported from Scotland. The Indian High Commission in London has issued a statement regarding the incident where separatists stopped the Indian High Commissioner to the UK from visiting a Gurudwara in Glasgow city. In a press release, the High Commission stated that three individuals were involved in this particular disruption and all of them were from outside Scotland. Now, according to the intel sources, the major reason is related to Jaktar Johal, who was arrested in Punjab in 2017. Jaktar Johal has currently 10 cases registered against him in India under the Arms Act and Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. British National Johal has been lodged in Tihar Jail since 2017, as I just mentioned, on charges of murder and attempted murder as well. The two individuals who confronted the Indian High Commissioner were from Johal's gang. This is what we have received. A third person was not involved and only came to inform the High Commissioner that people were going to protest against him and it would be better for him to leave that particular area. What should have happened, the High Commissioners, uh, you know, either the military attache or, uh, or uh, you know, the security people, including the RNAW, they should have been a recce team there. And uh, they should have figured out what was going to happen. And the High Commissioner should have come, High Commissioner should have come only when there was reasonable ground to expect that there will be no opposition. Let me put it very bluntly. There is no point in the High Commissioner visiting a Gurudwara after a violent confrontation between the Khalistanis. Look, I understand that those people who have stopped them उनको कोई ना कोई दिक्कत रही होगी कोई ना कोई इनके इश्यूज हैं हमारे भी इश्यूज हैं गवर्नमेंट के साथ 1947 से हमारे इश्यूज हैं उससे पहले अंग्रेजों से थे उससे पहले मुगलों से थे लेकिन किसी को गुरुद्वारे में रोकना ये गुरुनानक साहब के फलसफे के खिलाफ है गुरुनानक साहब ने डायलॉग का फलसफा दिया हमारा आज प्राइम मिनिस्टर से हमारा आज गवर्नमेंट से हमारा आज किसी संस्था से कोई विवाद है तो वी आर प्रोटेस्टिंग फॉर इट वी आर फाइटिंग फॉर इट but to stop somebody or to take permission from somebody, no. First of all, uh, I would like to uh, express my solidarity with our High Commissioner. Uh, he sh this should not have happened. And the dignity and uh, respect for the High Commissioner should have been maintained. I believe that the uh, authorities in Scotland should have provided uh, due security. Uh, to for, to him for the visit uh, but having said that I have to say that uh, from the reports that I have read it appears that it was a group of uh, disgruntled uh, people misguided people the committee seems to have invited the Gurudwara committee seems to have invited the High Commissioner and uh, these uh, some ruffians apparently came there and disturbed uh, the event so uh, I would just like to say that our High Commissioner should not be deterred. He should uh, continue uh, making the efforts. I think it is very unfortunate because uh, uh, the radical persons who are against the countries are destroying the image of the Indians and uh, especially the Sikhs all over the world. These types of persons which are uh, always uh, uh, disturbing which are always creating nuisance uh, and uh, stopping the persons to have a dialogue to maintain a, a peace between the different countries, between the uh, 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 different communities. So they are disturbing day by day and uh, these types of uh, people should be uh, dealt very hardly. इंग्लैंड कनाडा में भी इस पर विवाद हुआ है वहां पर राजनीतिक दृष्टि से सरकारें वहां के सरकार कनाडा की सरकार और इंग्लैंड की सरकार ऐसे मामलों को ऐसी घटनाओं को नजरअंदाज करते हैं राजनीतिक दृष्टि से जो दोनों देशों के आपसी संबंध के लिए सही नहीं है वो खेदजनक है जो मुझे अभी जानकारी मिली कि उनको उस गुरुद्वारे में बुलाया गया था मंत्रित किया गया था ऐसा मुझे वहां बताया गया 
ना भी बुलाया गया होता तो भी उनके आने पे कोई भी किसी भी तरह के गुरुद्वारा क्योंकि धर्म और बाकी चीजें दोनों को किसी भी तरीके से जोड़ना गलत है धर्म की एक अपनी आस्था है सिख की अपनी एक परिभाषा है और सिखिज्म को इंटायर सिखिज्म को किसी को अधिकार नहीं है कि इस तरह से पूरी दुनिया में हमें बदनाम किया जाए हम वो कम्युनिटी नहीं है जो मार धाड़ जिस तरह की हमारी छवि बनाने की कोशिश की जा रही है हम वो लोग नहीं हैं और मैं बड़ा स्पष्ट कर रहा हूँ कोई भी खालिस्तानी सिख नहीं है और जो खालिस्तान की मांग करता है वह भी सिख नहीं है क्योंकि हमारे गुरुद्वारे तो सबके साझे हैं सबके लिए हैं और सब धर्मों सब जाति सब पंथों के लिए हैं जो मर्जी आ सकता है तो ये जो स्कॉटलैंड में हुआ ये निंदनीय है और अपेक्षा करते हैं कि वहाँ की सरकार इस पर तुरंत कार्रवाई करेगी Now CNN News 18's Anand Narasimhan spoke with a panel of guests about India's High Commissioner being stopped from entering a gurudwara for an event that he was actually invited for. Listen into that conversation. इनको सबसे पहले सिटीजन से मिल कैसे गई सरदार आर पी सिंह दैट्स अनदर थिंग दी अदर थिंग इज जो ये मांग रहे हैं इनको एक छोटा सा ब्लॉक वहीं खरीद लें उसको जो नाम देना है दे दें बट दे कैन नॉट दे कैन नॉट डिफेम सिक्खी एनी मोर There has to be a clear position that has to be taken, sir. There is nothing as far as uh, with related Anand, to closest to Sikhism when they use this. How can they do this? Well, the Western world has to understand one more thing. I mean, this guy Johol is accused in murder of two uh, Hindus, uh, Jagdish Ki Nijar Ji, one of the brigadier, retired brigadier, and Ravindra Gosain. But he is also accused in one of the pastors killing. Uh, A Christian pastor was killed by his gang, and he is accused in that. So uh, I don't understand how can they support such a person who is uh, involved in a uh, pastor killing. But let's understand. Uh, and, and sorry, coming to your point also, uh, Canada has a lot of land, spare land. Canada has very less population, uh, as good as Delhi, and then they have huge piece of land. They can make Khalistan in Brampton or any Ottawa, any other place uh, they can think of, and uh, they can uh, put their flag and everything there, whatever they want to. But for your uh, memory, I mean, the first man who started the Khalistan movement was Jagjit Singh Chauhan. He launched his uh, uh, Khalistan uh, currency, Khalistan flag, and he probably got Khalistan also government in exile, recognized by uh, Venezuela or Ecuador, if I remember Ecuador. And later on, when he uh, at his last stage, he came to India uh, in 2000. He came to India. He accepted the India's. Uh, Uh, concept and said, "I I go by uh, India and I I am against Khalistan." He said, "Ram Rajya and Khalistan are same." That is his statement, recorded statement when he was here, and he met lot of readers. He said, "I am not against uh, any any country. I am not against uh, any religion." And he also said that bogey of Khalistan is on record uh, recorded statement that bogey of Khalistan is being created by Pakistan and supported by the Western countries. For reason to use that as a leverage against India, I mean, this man is saying this in two, uh, year 2000, and uh, later on he made his own party here, Khalsa Raj Party. If I rightly remember, he contested hmm. one election also after coming back to India, and he uh, lost that election. Although he lost that election, but this is the the background of the Khalistan is also. I mean, Jagjit Singh Chauhan is supposed to be the, the person who initiated the Khalistan movement abroad and then built up the complete concept of Khalistan. But let's understand what's happening today. Is is all Uh, because there is isi which want to disturb india there is west which want to use this as a leverage uh, uh, against rising india and also earlier it was being used to support pakistan now is being used to uh, uh, to ensure that they can use this against the rising india and also there is a gangster you remember 80s these all these gangster hmm. from uh, mumbai used to go to dubai and settle there now The, in, the Punjab gangsters have gone and settled in Punj uh, in uh, uh, Canada and in hmm. England, uh, uh, not much in America, but in these two countries, much more in Canada, and and they are operating as a, a complete uh, gang now, but they were gangsters, uh, ISI, Khalistanis, and they are using the students who take asylum, they take money from the students here, uh, the uh, money to. Uh, get them letters uh, credential hmm. letters for to shift to canada uh, one of our member parliament uh, simran singh man is on record yes that i issued them letter for 35000 rupees each 